Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. No bumper, we're gonna get right into it. This is, uh, what, number 111? Let me check. I should have checked before I hit record. Uh, yeah, number 111. So this is gonna be a short video because you guys know this band, you know everything about them, so there's nothing that I can educate you about. So this is my list of 133 favorite artists. I've got the criteria below. And it's basically I made playlists, 80 minute playlists of all these 133 artists. Listened to them for a year, ranked them, re-ranked them. And then I consider the live experience. Do I read about the artist? Do I uh, buy books or read magazine articles? And so that's it. So that's how I ranked them. And do hit that like or subscribe button if you like what I'm doing. It really helps. And we usually do 21st century music on here. But you know, I like music from all time periods. And I want to be real clear too. I go backwards as well as forwards. So I have artists that I like from before I was born. So you can travel backwards or you can stay with the current trends. But this is, an, this is a... Uh, duo, garage rock duo, that released their debut in 1999. So we're looking at a 21st century band. And if I tell you the city they're from, you'll know right away. Detroit, Michigan. So who else am I talking about? A duo from Detroit, Michigan? I'm sure you've guessed by now, but we're talking about the White Stripes. Yeah, love, love, love the White Stripes. Um, and I had... Um, a bunch of their albums, a bunch of their CDs. And <clears throat> so anyway, um, my then wife had introduced me to them. And I remember she um, brought a CD home and said, isn't it great? Isn't it great? And I was like, yeah, it's okay. You know, it took a while for me to really, for the band to click. Uh, but she got them right away. She was a high school teacher and her students had always told her about what was hot. And um, yeah, so um, I now am a huge fan. I've never seen them live. And I don't have any of those CDs anymore because she had discovered the band. I gave her all those CDs. What I own today is Jack White's solo album, Blunderbuss. That's the only physical copy that I have, but I've listened to this uh, many, many times. You know, they're similar to bands like the Black Keys and and I love the Black Keys, and I've done reactions to them on this channel. And they did not make my 133 favorite artists. Why? Well, because I like the White Stripes just a little bit better. Uh, but, but I'm a fan of both bands. And anyway, um, let me go ahead and tell you some of the songs that I like here. I like Dead Leaves and the Dirty Ground. Um, Hotel Yorba fell in love with a girl. And I do like Seven Nation Army. Bum, 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 bum. That's such an earworm. And I think it's awesome. And Black Math is good. Blue Orchid, My Doorbell, Icky Thump. These are some of my favorite songs. So I have a playlist below if you want to check out my play. You know, and these are short songs. So the playlist has 24 tracks. And I... I think it's a great playlist, so check it out. A couple of people have told me they're following me on Spotify. Um, what can I say about the White Stripes? They have wonderful hooks, wonderful melodies. Jack White, obviously a great guitar player, but he's just got this uh, knack for great riffs, great hooks, and then he's got a sense of humor. And everything is, um, I guess the last thing I'll say about the White Stripes, and I'm, <coughs> I hate that when I sneeze on camera. It happens sometimes, but um, yeah, the last thing I'll say is there's a real um, a affection for the old music, right? It's all steeped in the blues and garage rock. 
music from the 40s, 50s, and 60s, but updated for the 21st century. And I think that's a killer combination. I love when one foot's in the old and one foot's in the new. And nothing more I can say about this band. I think you guys are going to be completely up to date and hip. So let's wrap it up. As we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia. <laughs>